let's talk about Canada. I've been to Canada for so many times now uh, for traveling, for work, but um, I was there recently for this um, CRB Expo. Um, I think they have this expo twice a year, so it's like two times a year. Um, the reason I was there is because, you know, uh, it's always good to to explore this uh, international market, right? Because um, the market itself is not limited to U.S. market. I'm talking about more market, Kingsney, Fauna, you know, Classify, uh, Facebook group or things like that. But um, it's more than that, you know, the market is huge. Um, so it's always good to explore and to visit all of these um, local expo, you know. Um, especially in um, Canada because, um, you know, they're really close to us. Um, hopefully next time, maybe next year, it depends on my traveling schedules. I want to visit to um, to um, European market like the ham show or things like that. And then um, the Asian market, the Australian market. So there's like so many things that, um, you know, you can do, especially if you working on to um, expand your business. So um, I was there for this, um, this expo CRB. Um, I think they have it like Friday all the way to Sunday. Um, but um, I, I was there just, you know, like two days, Saturday and Sunday. And then um, the market there, um, to be frankly honest with you guys, um, it's not as big as what we have here in US. I mean, I'm not, you know, uh, mention that in a bad way, but, um, you know, they have a lot of potential. They have a lot of, you know, potential growth, you know, just like looking at the, the you know, the variety of the um, animals, all of these combos, and then um, so many great breeders right there. I mean, you know, so I can see the um, potential. I mean, even though they might not have as many as you know like new genes that we have here in, in the u.s you know combo wise and then you know um but um they have a lot of nice things there so i can really definitely you know can see the potential um and then you know expanding there probably you know another things that i might need to add for you know my next year to do list because um um it's always good to visit right all of these um, local expo because um, every time you ask even your own friend right like how's the market there obviously they're gonna say it's doing great you know but um, when you see there yourself and you visit there you can kind of like get the feel like to gauge like what's going on you know the potential is huge and then um, you know um, because especially like myself right i always looking for new things new new project you know because um there's like few difference of breeders pretty much you know people that actually doing it for the business uh you know solely for money um it, and then the others just to you know as a pet maybe you know and then um you know and then the other kind which is like myself I like to collect things. I like to find new projects, new interesting things that I might not have seen before, you know? So um, the Canadian market is great. And then um, there's so many great people. Um, I've, um, I had a great time, you know, meeting all of these um, great readers like um, Steve from Oddball, you know, um, Phil Robinson, super, super nice guy, Chris Towers, um kb reptiles super nice couple um and then um craig from urban python super super nice guy and then um i was there just to kind of like checking out what's going on with his collection because um he sold most of his ball python collection if i'm not mistaken so um because i want some of his uh project <laughs> but um yeah and then another thing is um Probably like the highlight of the trip is um, to meet one of my idol of all time. I I'm talking about Mark Mendy. Man, I looked up to this guy, you know, I've been following him for years. So to be able to finally meet him in person, it was just 
amazing, you know. So, um, and then what else? Um, last but not least is, um, you know, meeting this great, <laughs> interesting guy, Billy from Mutation Creation. I love that guy. Man, I can talk about project for days with these guys. I mean, you know, we can talk like nonstop. So, this is probably like the best part is, um, you know, because um, when you, you know, have conversation, right? Especially if you want to build long-term um, relationship, uh, especially in business. Um, when you meet in person, you can tell right away whether, you know, that person is full of it or like really, really someone that you, you know, can rely on and then do business for the long term, you know, uh, because um, things like patient, things like, you know, just the love for the hobby itself, you cannot fake it, you know, um, you can tell like right away, just right by after you, you know, shake his hands and just like, you can tell like he's, this is a really good, you know, good people. So um, he was nice enough to um, invite me to explore his um, facility. He has some of the amazing facility, you know, um, some of his project that he's working on, uh, which I'm gonna share um, from this um, clip that I'm gonna play maybe like right before the end. It's a lot of cool project. He's working on this um, freeway stuff. I mean, Jesus Christ, there's so many of them. Like, th that's probably why I I've been telling you guys, right? There's so many things that you guys, you know, like not many people even, you know, have seen before. Um, so many exciting stuff coming in, you know, uh, 2019, 2020, and 2021. Um, and then the hobbies keep growing strong, you know? So um, that's the fun part of it. And then, um, you know, like I know for sure, maybe like 2019 or like 2020, one of my good buddy uh, from UK, um, he has this um, new, new, uh, new gene, awesome gene. So it's a uh, recessive, uh, something that he's been working on for like years now. So that's the thing because um, I've seen people you know, come to me like, hey, I have this cool stuff. Uh, no, it's not because um, you cannot even tell, you know, what, you know, the gene does. I mean, you know, you cannot just like email me and just like, okay, Chris, buy this. You know, you gotta have the whole, you know, things from A to the Z because, um, you know, like so many people, they've been working on this, like a certain project for like years, you know, because I'm thinking about this way, right? from the initial idea and then getting all of these ingredients, right? So you have to line up the whole things, right? And then from there, so you're taking it to the breeding and then to literally produce the particular thing that you always wanted as planned pretty much. But um, sometimes, you know, you <laughs> you make it, sometimes you miss. But um, that's the fun part of it. So um, I'm gonna share with you guys this short clip um, when I was there just to kind of like showcase, you know, some of the project that um, Billy from Mutation Creation been working on so far. Awesome combo. Um, that's it for now for this episode. And then I'll see you guys into the next one. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's much better. This one's a nicer one. Holy, look. Wow, look at it. Yeah, that one has like a really thick bending. Hey, bring it closer. Look at this. Yeah, yeah. So this I is a super orange dream right here. Yeah. Oh, there's the head. Uh, yeah. I like the one we had the freeway. Just me from it. Jesus Christ. Ooh. So many. Love. It's great. You're almost going up. Next week, probably.
Yeah, they'll be out next yeah. week. Not even next week, we can. What we have here? Just a fight. Just a fight. Nothing special. Some special stuff? Yeah. Not actual special, but special stuff. Oh, do you remember those two things that you showed me? Oh, oh that one is the M Cinema. Yeah. I'm talking about the other one, the one oh. that. Uh, so this is the Creed, right? Yeah. Is that? Yeah. Cool. Pinkish color. Talking about uh. Mm -hmm. Um, I think they are like here, like somewhere here, without the label. Thank you.